Hey, this is Nate. Thanks for reaching out. Wanted to put this quick video together for you. Just give you some tips and tricks, a few pointers on how to better rank your website. You know, going down through the site, the overall layout of the site looks good. You do have some content in here. You've got a ton of before and after pictures. I was looking to see if you actually had your address and stuff on here, and I do not see that. Google loves local businesses, so you want to make it very clear to Google where you're located and what you do. So we recommend about 1,000 to 1,500 words on this homepage and about 500 to 750 words on those back service pages. You want to get those keywords and keyword phrases that people are typing into Google organically into the content on your page. Google loves local. So we want to let them know exactly where you are and what services you offer. And if you offer service in multiple areas, put that main location on the main part of the website and then build out location pages for those other cities and areas that you work in to get those ranking separately in those areas. I did pop you into one of our SEO tools. Um, title tag, meta description, and H1 are all super important to Google. So right now your title tag is home, Jarrell exterior cleaning and lawn service. So I'm just picking a city in Georgia because I don't know exactly where you're at, but I used Atlanta as my example. But I would do something like Atlanta pressure washing and then your company, you know, like a dash in your company name. You've got 70 characters, so the company name is kind of long, so that's going to take up a lot of it. But do like Atlanta pressure washing and then a dash your company name, and you're going to get the cleaning and the lawn service keyword in there because they are part of the company name. So that's the way that I would set up your title tag. Your meta description, you've got 140 characters here. You do have a couple keywords and things in there, so that's good. But you've got up to 320 characters, so try to take advantage of that and use as much of that as you can to get those keywords and stuff like that in there. Your H1 tag, you're currently showing four different H1 tags. You really only want to have one. Having multiple H1 tags confuses Google. And looking at the H1 tags, they're not really that specific on where you're located and what you do. So if we go over here and look, um, this right here is one of your H1 tags. I would do something super simple here. I would just do like Atlanta GA pressure washing. And then if you want this stuff here, put that below it. But make that main location plus service keyword your H1 tag. You know, it just helps build that clear path of communication with Google to let them know where you're located and what services you offer. You know, I typed in Atlanta pressure washing here. When you scroll down to the organic listings, you can see most of these top 10 first page ranking sites. This here is the title tag for all of them. It's this blue line. And then the meta description is this little sentence or so underneath it. But look at this. All of them say Atlanta pressure washing. Atlanta pressure washing. Atlanta Pressure Washing, Pressure Washers Atlanta. They all say what they do and where they are. Almost every one, if not every one of these top 10 listings. So that shows you the importance of that title tag. So like I said, I just wanted to give you a few pointers, kind of help you out a little bit. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out. You know how to find me. I will talk to you later. Thank you for your time.